What's going on guys? My name is Brad from the Emerald Minecart and today we're going to be reading Lego Jurassic World set number 30382 Baby Velociraptor Playpen. This is recommended ages 6 to 12, has 48 pieces and retails for about, I think this is $4, 4 to $7 or something. But anyways, um, a few videos back. I started doing minifigure of the day again, but I've been forgetting to do that. So, okay, I'm going to start it back up again. So, what I decided to do this time is show off one cool minifigure, because I want to show them off because it's a cool minifigure, and then one minifigure that I need you guys to go in the comments and name. So, the cool minifigure today is going to be Vitruvius. Very, very cool minifigure. The wizard. This is alternate expression. So yeah, Vitruvius is the cool minifigure of the day, and then this Coast Guard woman that came in the Coast Guard HQ, I have a review, you can go check that out on my channel, if I can get this, okay, there we go, focus, so I need you to name her, and we need a girl name, not a boy name, well, unless it's one of those things like Alex or Jesse, we can do that, but no weird names, like, I want, like, a sent maybe, like, a sensible name, like, I don't want a cactus person, like, a... I don't want any like of you cactus person fans to come and name it cactus person. How about we not do that? Um, no, Hufflepuff wizard. Although, also by the way, I forgot to mention at the end of the Harry Potter video, I kind of ran out of time on the Quidditch match review. I'll tell you guys where this guy was. He was hiding right behind the Slytherin Tower. I don't know if you saw him, but he was behind the Slytherin Tower. You can go back and watch that video to try and see. Or I don't want like another name like Harry Potter. I don't want that name. I don't want cowboy or kit or anything like that i want like a normal name so so if i further ado let's get into the review of this poly bag so unlike yesterday's video the cute pug poly bag review had absolutely zero minifigures in it this one doesn't have a minifigure but it does have baby blue if i can get that to focus there we go yeah, it just says Baby Blossom after Playpen. There's no hiding the fact that this is Baby Blue. And I think this is pretty adorable. I like how the blue striping goes through the entire body or mold. I think that's pretty cool. It's got a peg on top. I guess I feel like those bow things. Although I highly doubt anybody's going to be putting a bow in that. You can see he's got like kind of like a little rough mold for like his feet there. And his hands right there there and his feet right down there he's got a sort of a mold for that and you can see the blue continues up to the head where it circles around his blues yellow eyes turn this around it's a sand green color matching more the jurassic world blue than the jurassic world fallen kingdom blue since this is supposed to be well it would be like when owen met blue would be said back before jurassic world but they don't show clips of owen meeting blue until jurassic world fallen kingdom that wouldn't really actually happen until before jurassic world fallen kingdom well before jurassic world maybe even during jurassic park free although there's all those theories saying that owen was in jurassic park free i don't know he may have been he may not have been but that's pretty much it for baby blue so now i'll get on to the build itself so here is the playpen build itself. I think it's a pretty good build. If you're wondering what the 2, the 0, and the 0, and the 8, 2008, that's just what I have on my hands. It's from a swim meet. I'm on the swim team. We draw on our social sharpie marker. So I always draw random numbers, so I just decided to draw 2008. It's just a random number. So that's what that's about. So I think this is pretty cool. I like some of the small details, like the water pan over here so you could put like blue right there so he could drink some water he doesn't exactly match up to that but i guess this is where the water would come out there's really no way for him to turn it on and off i guess these right here are probably supposed to be lights so you got like some bars to represent being actually in a pen this little build back here i think is pretty cool because you could make this like his, his house you could do probably do that if I can stick it back here this is actually smaller than yesterday's poly bag like the build is bigger but yesterday the cute pug poly bag had 86 pieces i'm pretty sure 68 pieces sorry so that one had 68 pieces this one only has 48 is it let me grab the bag 48 pieces that's how many pieces this poly bag does use it makes a great advantage of the pieces that are in it you got those nice new leaf pieces right here below these tan bricks 
represent like a house. You got like the dirt right there. They, they got like this a uh, crane thing, but it's not a crane. You can put the chicken like uh, I guess you'd when boy wakes up in the morning so he can get breakfast. You'd have this over here so then, like a dino handler or something could walk up and put the chicken up there and then just turn it around and then boy could come out and jump up and eat it. And I guess they could do the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and all that stuff. So yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty cool set. And also, this part I have seen used before, but this is my first time actually getting this part. I've never actually had this part before, so that's pretty cool to actually get that part. And in a nice blue color. So that's pretty much it for this build. So I'll go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here's the packaging right here. You can see this Jurassic World up there continuing to look Cage look, you got blue and Owen right there, the Lego logo, some more of the box, the image. You see like the building toy and the different languages. Turn this around the back, it's got kids go free to Lego and coupon, the barcode, all the fine print. Uh, not for kids under age free. I don't actually see that small ball thing. Warning toy contains small ball. I don't see that in the back of this. So yeah, that's about it for the packaging. Nothing really special compared to other Jurassic full boxes. Here's the instructions. Yet again, that really, really hard to fold back up instructions. That This one's actually a smaller instruction manual, so it's easier to fold back up than the cute pug one. As you can see on the front, it basically just has the same image that was on the back of, that was on the front of the poly bag. On the back, we got the win. Go to lego.com. Go to www.lego.com slash rb2008 out a short survey on this product for a chance to win a cool Lego set. So that's pretty cool. You can go and do that. Ask your parents permission first to do that. Like you don't necessarily have to ask your parents permission to go online. I would advise you ask them if you're allowed to go online first, but I would advise asking their permission to take part in the survey. And Lego.com slash Jurassic World. So that's about it for this instruction booklet. So overall, I think this is a pretty good poly bag. I would definitely recommend this to any Lego fans or Jurassic World Fallen King fans out there. It's a pretty cool and easy way to get Baby Blue, which is absolutely awesome. The only other way to get them is in the huge T-Rex tracker, which is like $90 or something. So it's really, really expensive. So I like that they put them in a small set. So yeah, that's about it for this set. If you guys did like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.